Hey there fellow toy car collectors and other collectors. Well, found quite a few toy cars. Let's start. First of all, we have this 1997 Corvette with Scooby-Doo on the side. Or Daphne, who was the, I think, basically love interest of Fred, but also as well just the smart, unsmart girl one for capture bait. If Shaggy and Scooby weren't using it. Still very cool though. Came, I think, from a five pack. I seem to remember that being a five pack or possibly a single. Next we have the double decker. This one is in the classic Matchbox Toys blue colour. It would have been a uh, miniature size. In fact, if you remember from a few, ooh, quite a while ago, somewhere in this lot over here, I did have a tiny little miniature version. Also as well, this one seems to have a dodgy wheel at the front. That wheel seems to get jammed up. I've tried fixing it, but failed miserably. Next we have Swamp Buggy, a rather interesting little vehicle. Kind of looks like a frog really, so maybe they were going for a frog. Looks rather looks rather cute like that. Either way, one I probably won't be collecting. Next we have this one, no idea what this one is called. No idea at all, it's just whatever. Still a cool model, one that I needed. I say don't worry, I'll be looking up the names of these uh, when I come to photograph them. Next we have, I think this is the Boss Mustang. I think this is what this one's called, the Boss Mustang. I think. Like I say, I've got the names for a few that I've probably already got of these, so I'll be naming these later. Still a very cool model to have. Next we have the classic GMC Wrecker. Unfortunately, this has now uh, lost the removable uh, piece here. Uh, because this piece used to be broken off so easily and this little piece would come off. It does still however move up and down so you can still hook your uh, can still hook your sort of like features. This is actually a fairly new one. This is uh, a 2017 I think new release uh, in the five pack, police five pack. Still cool to get. Still ah, sorry about that, but still nice to have this one. I mean this is like a proper classic to have. This one has been around since 19, I think 1988 or 1987. Yeah, so since about 88, 87. Still incredibly cool to get though, because it's quite a rare model. I mean, they made it a lot. Next, we have the Corvette Stingray in this beautiful, lovely green colour. Wonderful to get these. I love the old Stingrays with the split window at the rear and the fuel cap at the back there. Absolutely wonderful cars to get. Do like to get these sort of Corvettes. Another matchbox. This one is the police car. Cool little feature is the fact that this has an opening uh, boot. This bit's plastic. Inside the boot uh, is, I think, a fire extinguisher, uh, the stop stick slash stingers, and I think whatever that piece is on the end there. Uh, oh, a torch or megaphone, possibly a megaphone, because police usually have like on there they have the uh, they have sort of like the torches on the side of the windows where the mirror is. Didn't show a good side up view. There you go. Next we have this model, which I think doesn't have it. Oh, Stingrod Two. This is the latest Stingrod. Uh, this is when they basically still had this as a moving feature. That's now been made into one fixture. It now does that. Uh, also as well, I think it had rockets on the side or on the front, but yeah, this was a heavily armoured vehicle. I think this was going off the Mad Max sort of vibe, because I think this came out in... Uh, don't actually say when it came out. Oh, it's 2009, so, but the original one, I think, came out uh, during sort of like the Mad Max era of the 80s, so that's probably what that one was based on. Next we have the Copo Camaro in black, with the uh, Fram logo on the side. Did they mean farm? Because uh, that would make more sense. Because sometimes you do find, if you live in America and you're wandering around a farm, you just find a random 80s or 90s Camaro that is sitting there just rotting away and the owner won't sell. Next we have Twin Mill 3, 1, 2. This is Twin Mill 1. I do have the superized version of this carded. Here is the regular version, as you will note. Normal plastic tyres, not rubberized. Also, normal coloured paint, not Spectraflame paint, or whatever paint they call it. Next is quite a heavy matchbox model. This is the Mercedes-Benz 430 Wagon. 
which is basically the American version of a uh, estate car. So if it has this bit on the back here, the Americans call it a wagon. We call it a um, we call it an estate because it's basically bigger. Metal base, metal body. Quite a heavy model. Not that heavy, but certainly definitely very heavy indeed. Quite a nice model to get. Next we have a refuge truck. Now I didn't actually want to grab this one mostly because it was kind of a bit damaged and a bit dull but it's one I didn't have. It's in orange and blue which is rather an odd combination. It does still work but as you can see the front wheels are a little bit buckled. Yeah, I didn't know if it came with any tampos or stickers on the side there so I just thought I'll leave it. But upon seeing it still in the box a couple of weeks later I thought oh the hell with it I'll buy it. Next we have the 65 Mustang Fastback in beautiful purple. Very nice model indeed. Not a track car because it's too low. Still a very nice model to get. Nice Mustang to have indeed. And finally for the Lucy's we have the Mitsubishi Double Shots with a Z on the end. So Shots. Very cool model in sleek black with the purple on the side which I think is actually part of the plastic bodywork underneath as it looks like yeah it is that is part of the plastic bodywork anyway next up we have some carded stuff it has been a while since I've had any carded stuff on here well um, just before I did leave my job or basically didn't get the job after two weeks of work uh, there was a Tesco's in uh, St Neots decided to go have a look see what toy cars they have and of course they had a Volkswagen T2 pickup in the white I have no idea if this is the first colouring, the second, third I say after I think 2016, mid 2016 I just gave up looking for toy cars boxed wise because it was either a case that there was no point or what was the point but this one I quite like because it's rather unique uh, went into Poundland, my local one in Newmarket to see what they had and they had three rather nice vehicles. I would have got some more, but I thought no, because I want to save my money in case there's anything else that I happen to find in the future. So this is the Matchbox Glass King. And this is the sort of thing you probably only see in America for the uh, glass uh, logos. We usually have sort of like a van that has sort of like a metal stripping down the side that will hold a big pane of glass there. But this is like a proper van transporter. Uh, if you've played Simpsons Hit and Run, in the first level you get those crusty glass vans. That's pretty much what that is based on. A very cool model to get either way. One that I uh, just liked in general. Next we have the Volkswagen Transporter Cab. The Type 3 bus, if you want to be technical. In the beautiful green, which is quite a common uh, car to find. Or that the VWs go after. Wonderful condition. Um, the only two I had to leave behind was a, a taxi version of the oh Honda. It's oh it's the it's the environmental car. The uh, it's not the Civic. It's um, the hybrid. I think it's just called the Honda Hybrid. The first one of those that came out. There was a taxi version and one more. I think oh it was the uh, it was the uh, ice thingy. It was the um, the ice paver for hockey rinks and ice rinks, that thing. So I left those two behind. Uh, the next up and the final one is the 57 GMC Stepside. Sheriff Edition in brown. How could I resist this? Absolutely gorgeous van, uh, truck. I love the old Stepside with that sort of uh, face. Absolutely love this sort of model. Had to buy this because why not? And that is it. That is officially all October's finds. Like I say, November, December, I don't know. Like I say, I thought this job was going to be a permanent thing. I'd be able to buy a lot more toy cars. Wouldn't be able to video them in like basically I normally would. But sadly it didn't last. So, like I say, I don't know what's going to happen. Either way, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. I've now got to photograph all this lot in order to upload to DeviantArt. Oh well, thanks for watching. See you next time.